Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another video. It's a fellow brown guy who is trying to get his YouTube channel monetized by stealing other people's content by doing reaction videos. Right, so I'm trying to get my YouTube channel monetized, but for some reason, YouTube copyrights me for every single thing I post, even though, you know, other people have posted similar content without getting copyrighted. So, yeah, in this video, we will be reacting to Indians Archie by Russell Peters. Red, white, and brown. I have actually seen a couple of Russell Peters videos before, and he's an Indian, if I'm not wrong. I think he was brought up in india or he was born in india or his parents were indian i'm not quite sure how his attachment to india is and the good thing about that is that you know when you are a certain nationality you can kind of have a little bit of a license to make fun of that nationality so if you're an indian you can make fun of indians if you're a black guy you can make fun of other black guy if you're a muslim you can make fun of other muslims and you can get away with it so he can actually go a little bit unhinged among indians in these kind of videos so uh, very much looking forward to it without any further ado let's get started Okay. Look at all these Indian faces. Jesus Christ. Look at your brown yeah. bastards. God damn. <laughs> all in, man. All in. First couple of seconds. Brown bastards. Indians nice. just look upset that they had to spend money to be here tonight, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, just... So many Indians. Is it outside India or is it in India? Huh. <laughs> He's not in India, is he? He's this in is America, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know why I'm spending money to see someone that looks just like me. And we do that a lot, honestly. I can stay home and look in the mirror. For free. We are an endless supply of cheap jokes. And you know what the best thing about it is? Indian people, we're proud of our cheapness. That's the, you're never going to insult us by calling us cheap. That's the best part, you know. Hmm. You walk up to an Indian, you guys are cheap. Thank you for noticing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Hmm. That guy just called you cheap. No, no, no. He pronounced it cheap, but what he was saying was smart. True. Very smart. Very true. I mean, we're cheap. We're, you know? We got a lot of Indians who are smart. Indians are generally concerned to be smart, right? Like when it comes to tech and mathematics and all. It's not that Indians are smart. It's just that we have a huge population and 20% of population is smart. And that 20% of population makes up like a lot of countries. So yeah, there are a lot of Indians who are smart, but it doesn't mean that all Indians are smart. You know, here's the thing too. It's not like I'm up here going, you Indian people are cheap and I'm the one that's not. No, 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 no. No, 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 I am no, no, no. cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just as fucking cheap as you. The difference is now Ooh, yeah. I have money. I'm just cheap in better stores. <laughs> I'll be looking at like an Armani though. shirt. I hate when this happens. I'm looking at a shirt from like a high end designer and I flip the tag over and I see made in India. I'm stuck with a real dilemma. I'm like, shit. <laughs> do I buy this? Or do I call my Ooh. uncle? Wait. Paris is being done. Okay, there are white people in the audience. A lot of white people in the audience. So it is not in India, but there are so many Indians over there. Okay, cool. He knows where this factory is. That works for China as well. <laughs> we are cheap. Everybody's cheap, aren't they? Never call white people cheap. White people get really upset when you call them cheap. You ever call the white person cheap? They get very angry. Because white people actually are... are I haven't had the guts to cheap. try it. You ever call a white guy cheap? You're cheap. Fuck you, I'm cheap. I'll buy you a beer. You want a beer? <laughs> That's how white guys get around being cheap. You want a beer? 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 Huh? You want a beer? Huh? Fuck you, I'm not, yeah, I'm not cheap. I want a beer. Interesting. I don't drink, so I can relate. Everybody's cheap. It's all about levels, you know? Black <laughs> people are cheap as shit. And I'll tell you why, because I know I grew up around enough black people to know exactly how cheap you are. I remember going to my best friend Marlon's house when I was a kid. <laughs> I'd go there and be like, hey, Marlon, can I have some cereal? Yeah, go ahead, help yourself. <laughs> Here's the thing, Marlon and I have been friends for 31 years. Best friends for 31 years. And I didn't realize he had a lisp <laughs> until I did an impression of him. <laughs> what? Like, Stacko, can I get some cereal? Yeah, go ahead, help yourself. <laughs> I was like, son of a bitch, he has a lisp. <laughs> So I go pour some cereal, I go to get the milk. Okay. I'm like, yo, you only got this much milk. Wow. He just said that without getting cancelled. How old is this video? 
70 years before. Much milk left. Oh, shit. All right, give me the jug, I'll make them all. <laughs> what? Okay, um, that just ruined my imagination. Okay. What do you mean you'll make some more? He takes the jug of milk, shoves it under the sink, and starts filling it with water. I'm like, yeah, oh. this barely looks like milk. It's yeah. Milk. Right. You know, a lot of people mix water with milk, okay? So... Yeah. That wasn't much, actually, honestly. I was expecting him to go a little more darker and deeper. See, the idea of Indians being cheek does not offend Indians that much because there is an inherent superiority hierarchy between the races. Uh, not just Indians, like most Asian people consider white people to be a little more superior to them. And like, because of that inherent nature that is like inbuilt within our psychology, it's not just about races. A similar thing is true with pretty privilege as well. People who are prettier tend to get better uh, treatment in the society even though as a society you have taken a lot of steps to prevent it it's always gonna be there right it's always gonna be in with our psychology if there's a cute girl she'll get better treatment than a girl who is not as good looking as her it's always gonna be that i don't know if you have seen a video i have made actually a documentary kind of video regarding like the pretty privilege in south korea south korea is one of the places where you have like the highest intensity of pretty privilege they tell their kids that pretty privilege is like a necessity for success plastic surgery is a very common over there in a way they're not wrong to like in most parts of the world pretty privilege is a thing it might help them succeed to an extent so they're not wrong entirely which is kind of sad actually i don't know if we can tackle it though like uh, removing it it would be good from the society but i don't know if it's possible to remove it there was a point of time in my life where i used to learn psychology hypnosis mentalism and all those kind of things and i have hypnotized several people and one thing that i realized from is that our mind is like incredibly powerful when you're hypnotizing someone you actually take them to a state of mind called alpha state and you kind of directly give them suggestions to your subconscious mind so even though it's not true the subconscious mind makes them believe that so let's Say if you pretend you're cheap in front of others, that's fine. But if, if you actually believe that you're cheap, then it might actually affect you. So like, you know, if you actually believe that you're a failure, you probably end up being a failure. So yes, I don't take offense to this. I know I'm not cheap. So even if someone calls me cheap, I'm going to take it at that. I'm not going to take it by heart. This small video let us venture into a little bit of philosophy. Oh, that is interesting. Maybe I could do more of these philosophy videos. I'm looking forward to more reacting to more of like uh, Russell Peters videos. There are so many videos. I know I have already seen like a few of them. So I'll have to pick the ones which I haven't seen and I'll react to those. If you like what you're watching, hit the thumbs up button and let YouTube know you like what you're watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night and goodbye.